The mysteries of chaos are so enticing, it leads to so many beautiful pictures and hence so much mysticism and hype. But, behold, I will now reveal to you the central mystery of chaotic dynamics. That one central idea that holds the entire subject together. Are you ready for it? Here it is. Consider the following discrete time one-dimensional system. Xn plus 1 equals 10 times Xn mod 1. This is going to be defined on the interval from 0 to 1. So Xn is bigger than or equal to 0, less than 1. Hmm, this is interesting. I feel like we saw this at the very beginning of our story. Oh, well, whatever. Never mind. Is this a chaotic dynamical system? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it is. Now, why? What is happening? Well, let's think about it this way. Pick any two initial conditions that are close. Very close. I don't care how close. And iterate the both of them forward in time. Multiply by 10 mod 1. Multiply by 10 mod 1. Multiply by 10 mod 1. What happens? Hmm. It seems like, over time, these two very, very close initial conditions would separate and become, I don't know, independent, go their own way. This is the hallmark of chaotic dynamics, and this leads us to the big idea. Watch this carefully. Consider an initial condition. Let's choose one. Let's call it x. Because it's between 0 and 1, maybe it makes sense to write it out as a decimal. So I have 0 point and then some digits. Let me call them a1, a2, a3, a4, a5. I keep going, and I just have all these digits. They're digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, one of those. Maybe I just choose them at random. That's fine. Now, given this random initial condition, what does its orbit look like? What does 10x mod 1 look like? Oh, I'm multiplying by 10. That plays really well with the decimal expansion, right? Because I'm in base 10. So what do I do? I shift the decimal point over by 1. And EX has decimal expansion that begins with the second digit, A2, and then goes all the way down the line. Now, what happened to that first digit, A1? Well, I've multiplied by 10, but then I do mod 1. That means that I have some information loss. I have lost one bit of information about my orbit. And if you like, if I'm only looking at a certain window of digits, I've gained something new at the far end. And in fact, if I look at that entire full decimal expansion that goes on forever and ever and ever, it is giving me a precise image of what the future of this orbit is going to be. But that future is very, very difficult to see and very, very hard to predict because, let us say, I only have a finite amount of information about my initial condition. Let's say I can only ascertain that initial condition up to a certain accuracy. Now, it can be a lot of digits, but eventually, over time, I lose resolution, I lose information at the rate of one bit per time step, and that is why the future becomes unpredictable. Now, is that it? Is that example the mystery of chaos? All this exciting, crazy-looking, chaotic, dynamical stuff, does it all boil down to just shifting a decimal place? Yes, mostly. There are, of course, details. And how we get to those details is a very exciting story.